Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Mad Hatter from MySpace.com, and this is Friday, June 8th, and today was actually very funny. <laughs> Not funny for me, but it will be for you. I actually went grocery shopping today, right, with my grandma, like we do every other, well, every Friday. And see, what happened is, we went to the deli to get some ham for my grandpa. And the guy was like, do you guys want some sample? Now, my Muslim background, right? Muslims aren't supposed to eat pork. But it was ham, right? So, <coughs> since I'm a Christian now, I can eat ham and pork. So I thought. Okay. So, anyway, I take a bite of this little, I mean like two pieces of the ham, right? I was cool for a minute. But as soon as I got up in the car, I was like, go home, go home. <coughs> you know, it's so like, it's like, I'm like almost so weak and so tired. And then when we finally get home, I'm like, mom, hurry up, get out of the bathroom. She's like, why, why, why? I'm like, I got to throw up. And so I had to like force her out of the bathroom. I'll run into the bathroom and I'm just like coughing up chunks. It, it's so funny. But it's like, right now, I'm still a little sick. I'm still feeling the effects of it. But it's a little better than it was. Um, <laughs> so, to sum it up, I can't eat pork, of course. Dang, that, that goes on the list of other things I cannot eat. Like, some sort of fish. And I know you guys are probably like, what kind of black person doesn't eat fish? Because I know, you know the stereotype. Black people eat fish. Pe black people eat chicken and watermelon the thing the funny thing about me is I can only eat watermelon when I had a taste for it I eat chicken like it's a freaking religion I'm eating chicken every day so I had to boycott chicken yesterday because my grandma she cooked some chicken right and she was like are you gonna eat anything I'm like I eat chicken every day you know and so I know baked chicken boiled chicken all sorts of chicken yeah, I know, for real. If you guys are wondering, this is my mom. Uh, Hello! Yeah, see? There you go. She'll probably do one of these later. I'm going to have her do one. But, um, also, you guys are probably wondering what I got planned. Um, I'm going to tell you guys right now. So, you guys can come out there and, you know, check me out. I'm looking at my calendar right now. Okay. June 3rd was actually my last class, so, you know, you guys can't go to that anyway, so, no use telling you about that. June, June 10th, oh, you guys can't go to that either. Okay, June 24th, you guys can go to this one. It's my iPod. <coughs> See, told you guys I'm, I got a cold. This ham just killed me. But anyway, June 24th, which is a Sunday. Hate ham. <laughs> I'm gonna put that down right there too. Hate ham. But anyway, I pop overview. Sunday, June 24, 2007, of course, um, from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Yeah, you guys gotta wake up pretty early for this. But if you guys do come out, let me know. Let me know that you guys actually show up so I can like thank you or whatever. That'd be really great. And um, you guys are probably wondering what the heck I'll be doing there. I actually would be my last performance in Chicago before I go off to um, Las Vegas. Yeah, I'm going to Vegas. And I'm going to come back with an award, too. Y'all just wait. I'm going to do one with my award. I'm be so freaking excited. Who? Oh, yeah, my auntie-in-law, Khadija, what's up, um, in Las Vegas right now. Hey. Hey, if you are anywhere near the uh, uh, Venetian Hotel, look me up on July 1st all the way up to July 6th, okay? You better be watching this, too. Okay, anyway. <laughs> um, I think that's about it that I got. But if you guys want me to talk about anything or you have any discussions, you got any girl issues, guy issues, whatever... I'm like, Dr. Love, come send me mail and I'll talk about it in my next 
confessional. All right. So I'm about to get out of here. Don't want to waste any more of your time. I appreciate you guys watching me. And peace. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> My crazy family. Ain't they a trip? Okay. <laughs> Bye. Wait a minute, motherfucker. Oh. I got all this money in my hand and I'm looking at you, girl. So what you gonna do? <laughs> Who me? I'm Polo the Dunn. These my boys, they feel my. Let's go. I used to have a girl till I met you. Met you. I bet all niggas sweat you. Sweat you. Now, baby, bend over.